Have you ever thought about adding a raised garden bed at your place for veggies or flowers, but thought, oh, it all seems a bit too difficult or too expensive? Well, my mate Charlie is gonna show us how you can add a simple raised bed at your place, and best of all, it's fast, it's easy, and it's cost effective. This is the perfect spot for a raised bed. Nice and sunny, level, and once finished, it'll be easily accessible from all sides. The bulk of the bed is made from four sleepers. We're using Safe Sienna Micro Shades treated pine. Then you'll need a bag of quick set concrete for each post, weed mat and newspaper, some soil and mulch, and a few construction screws. And this is what makes this project so easy. Retain it corner posts. The sleepers just slot right into them. Start by deciding on the exact location for your bed and then mark for the first post. We're keeping cuts to a minimum by making our bed the same length as the sleepers. Dig the first post hole, position the post and while checking level add the quick set and water before tamping down. And here's one of the best things about these posts. Now you can just position a sleeper, mark for the next post hole and dig before adding the next corner post. Super fast! While Charlie was busy with the bed, I got busy cleaning up the block work to get things nice and tidy. Time for the side panels. They're 1.2 metres wide, so just a sleeper cut in half. Position them in the corner post slots and then check the diagonals. The length from front right to rear left and front left to rear right will be the same when your panels are square and correctly positioned. Mark and dig the remaining two corner post holes. Drop the posts in, add the last sleeper and then concrete the posts in place. You no doubt notice that we haven't removed the grass. Here's where we make sure it won't come up into our new bed. First a band of weed mat goes around the edge. Easiest way is to staple it about two thirds of the way up the side and make sure it's long enough to run about 200 millimeters from the bottom of the sleeper over the grass. Now we're adding a sleeper across the center as a brace. This is just to stop the long sleepers from bowing over time. Center this cut piece and fix in place with 100 millimeter construction screws. You can also add some 40 millimeter screws to secure your sleepers to the posts. Just pre-drill first. To finish the grass proofing, lay newspaper about six or eight sheets thick over the entire base of the bed. Wet it first by dunking it in water so it doesn't blow away. And we're nearly done, but it's time for the barrow work. We used an organic garden mix suitable for veggies. Rake the soil to level, tamping it down as you go to get rid of air pockets, and it's time to plant. Charlie's planting away madly behind me and we've got the other side of the bed already planted up. Now he's using an interesting technique called succession planting with the tomatoes. Some crops, tomatoes in particular, tend to come to fruit all at once. So the idea is you plant smaller, medium and larger sized plants all at the same time and that way you get a rolling crop happening. The other technique you can use is to get a couple of plants early in the season, then a month later you put some more in, and then a month after that you put some more in again, and that'll give you rolling crops as well. Once everything's planted, adding a quality slow release organic fertilizer will make sure your soil and plants are well fed for months to come. You need to mulch, of course, to retain moisture. We're using loosened garden mulch as it adds nutrients like nitrogen as it breaks down. It's important to stake and tie plants that need support at planting time. This way you won't damage roots by hammering in stakes later. Time for a good watering and that's it. From a boring and unproductive spot of grass to a beautiful new veggie patch in just a couple of hours. Love it. 